Am I right standing here? Yeah, that's yep. Perfect. Okay. Can we get you to say your whole name and position for us? Yes, Inspector Monique Ralph, Regional Duty Officer, South Eastern Region. Excellent. Thank you. Tell us about last night. Uh, well, the police were involved in a, um, a Facebook party uh, last night uh, that first started off at Underwood. Um, we went to that address and spoke with a number of persons at the address and the party was eventually closed. Uh, we then had a situation where the party, the party goers moved to another address at Webb Street um, in which uh, we were required to attend there. Uh, as a result of the number of people that were there, we shut down the street for safety of the, uh, the patrons who were there and also for the community uh, and we managed to disperse those people rather quickly. Sorry. Can yeah. We just try and get you to look yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's no, right. So, how many people are we talking about? Um, it was a, approximately 200 people. Um, again, we're still not sure of the exact numbers, but somewhere in that vicinity, yes. And what state were they in? Were they aggressive or, or drinking? Or uh, no, most of the um, the party goers were quite compliant with our directions. There were a few who were arrested um, towards the end of when the party was being closed down. Um, however, the majority of persons were quite compliant for us. Saying the organiser Yo Yo, he actually hasn't done anything illegal. Is that that's correct? Uh, at this stage, no. Um, at the moment, um, the only invest the, there's no investigations on our behalf. Um, however, um, there are some inquiries that are being made with the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service in relation to the Fire Act, and also the Logan City Council uh, with their local bylaws that all page all um, members of the community must abide by. Is he charges for these events? Uh, that is my understanding, yes, that there is a cover charge. Um, to what that is, I'm not exactly sure, but I do understand that there is a charge involved. Police were liaising with him during Friday and Saturday. Yes. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit? So he, is he helping police? Uh, well, he... basically we came across um, the Queensland Police Service monitor all social media outlets um, and we came across uh, information in relation to the party. That prompted us to make contact with um, the organisers and also with the uh, local council and the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service. So in a collaborative approach, uh, we have worked with those um, other agencies to ensure that um, all patrons um, were looked after and that they were safe and that there was not going to be any damage or um, annoyance to any members of the community where the party was being hosted. It was dangerous though, that Underwood location as far as you know, uh, potentially dangerous? Th there was potential for, um, for incidents to occur largely due to the numbers um, as opposed to the behaviour of the persons um, remembering of course the, the local council bylaws um, and the fire safety regulations in premises uh, where there is a number, of, uh, a number of persons who are able to go to those locations before it becomes a fire hazard. Shouldn't he be really just hiring a hall and sort of getting proper licensing and, and running the parties that way? Well, that would be our preference, definitely. Um, obviously, we have the, our Queensland Police Service Party Safe program where we encourage people to register their parties online. That way, we can monitor the numbers who are in attendance and also make sure that the community is going to be safe. So, absolutely, um, any party that anyone has in the future, uh, we would like them to register it and consider the big option of how many numbers you are going to receive given the impact of social media and, and the ability to get the word around very quickly to people uh, that there is a party in, in progress. Just on that numbers note, I know you said about 200 people, but neighbours in the street were saying they thought at one stage there was about 1,500. Has that, that been substantiated? No, definitely not. There's, there was nowhere near 1,500. We, we've estimated up at two, 200. Um, however, as I say, though, it's very hard to estimate numbers of people standing in the street, but definitely not in the vicinity of 1,500, no. When you talk about the dangers, what kind of things are we talking about? What robberies or just uh, uh, violence between the party goers? Oh, well, just mainly from a, um, a safety point of view of um, a large number of people on the on the streets, um, trying to disperse them, so looking after their own safety. Um, also, where there are alcohol fueled violence uh, with the one punch can kill. So we're just trying to get those messages out that um, people need to be really mindful when they are attending these sorts of events that they are being safe. Um, there's also the potential for property damage um, of the local residents in the street um, and also um, other traffic related offences that seem to arise from these sorts of events. It must be frustrating for you this happening sort of so regularly. Yes, it is becoming um, more prevalent. Um, as I say, we've been working quite closely with party organisers and the beauty of the program um, with registering your party is that um, if there is a concern from our viewpoint, we're able to um, speak with the organisers pre-event and let them know that we're concerned uh, and perhaps 
recommending to them certain strategies to ensure that the party is safe. Um, there were some charges. What were they? Um, there was um, a number of charges in relation to public nuisance offences, so offences um, of people in the street um, creating public nuisances to other community members. Uh, my understanding is that there was um, uh, large um, uh, musical equipment, um, as in amplified music. Um, there was a, a number of young persons in the street um, who weren't actually inside the, the residence or the, the, um, the building. So that was creating some concerns for us in relation to their safety and the safety of other people. But um, certainly there was uh, amplified music which we um, uh, managed under the Noise Abatement Act, and that music was um, ceased. Thank you oh, thank very you. much.